Well, Craig, Gorilla World is expected to reopen by next weekend. But in the meantime, Harambe's body is still here at the zoo. Now, through science, zoo officials say there's a future out of his remains. In a room full of cameras, Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Director Thane Maynard stood by his word. The exhibit's safe and the barrier's safe. That said, any of us in this room could climb over barriers if we choose. Maynard said the zoo is currently looking at the situation, but he did not guarantee anything will be changed. Despite the loss of Harambe, plans to expand the Gorilla World exhibit are still underway. We're doubling the size of the exhibit with the big indoor gorilla greenhouse. So that's important for our long-term breeding program and gorilla conservation. Harambe was 17, meaning he had not yet reached breeding maturity before his death. Zoo officials say the 400-pound silverback gorilla is one of the most critically endangered animals in the world. Maynard says Cincinnati is a key player in gorilla breeding and conservation. Reproductive biologists, they've collected viable sperm from him, which are important to bank on a real endangered species uh, for genetic reasons and future populations in zoos. Meaning part of Harambe could very well live on. His sperm was saved. It's not the end of his gene pool. In addition, um, he is he and his lineage are part of an ongoing breeding program. Now, zoo officials say that same barrier has been around for 38 years. The new exhibit will be built within the next year, which was already happening before Saturday's incident. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.